Julian Stanley Kenny, zoologist. Trinidadian zoologist Professor Julian Kenny is considered a world authority on natural history in the Caribbean. He was born in Woodbrook, Trinidad in 1930. He attended Belmont Intermediate School and then St. Mary's College where he wrote the highest certificate examinations. Kenny did his grade 13 at a Canadian boarding school and then entered the University of Toronto. I mean, I entered the University of Toronto when I was 17 and uh, not really knowing what one was going to do. Uh, I uh, was simply pushed into science, <laughs> as so often happens. After graduating in 1951, he worked at a fisheries laboratory in the north of Toronto. It was there that his interest in fisheries research developed. Returning to Trinidad, he joined the staff of the forerunner of the fisheries division as a scientific officer. While there, he contributed to the introduction of new protocols in fisheries management. In 1963, he gained his doctorate from Birkbeck College of the University of London, and in the same year, he joined the staff of the Department of Biological Sciences at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine. I became interested in, uh, in natural history, you know, it's just a natural curiosity. I did my doctorate at the University of London, Birkbeck College, on uh, aspects of the feeding mechanisms of um, amphibian larvae. Professor Kenny's work with the neurons was extended to his active research on the distribution of frogs, toads, and other aneurin species in Trinidad and Tobago. He spent 29 years on staff in the Department of Life Sciences at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine, lecturing in zoology. You try to fire up students, you try to infect them with enthusiasm for the subject and pursuing a career in science. He led postgraduates in research on the ecological dynamics of some of the country's natural areas, its caves, wetlands, savannas, coral reefs and marine systems. His research and advocacy contributed to national advances in the protection of sensitive ecosystems and the development of a national trust. Professor Kenny's reputation as a scientist in environmental matters is evidenced in his service to various national committees. He has functioned as an advisor to the Interministerial Committee on the Law of the Sea Convention, Chairman of the Board of the Institute of Marine Affairs, and as an independent senator. In his spare time, Professor Kenny is an avid diver and nature photographer. He has written several books which have featured his photographic works. His love for nature and curiosity about science are attributes he encourages in any budding scientist. Science is one of these things that grabs you. It's something that feeds on your natural curiosity. Feeding that curiosity will develop what is really necessary in the mind of a scientist. If you develop curiosity, and tenacity of pursuing, you know, the particular factor that you're looking at, uh, and you retain some skepticism, you're on the way to becoming a good scientist. You don't just simply accept what you're told.